what's going on guys so going to meet up with one of the guys at uh nato racing if you guys are from michigan and do any kind of car meet stuff and seen any kind of big grudge racers local guys they're really really cool guys got some fast cars um, they're super low-key about all their uh, runs and stuff so they have a really nice trailer they've been we've been going back and forth on for a while now if you guys see this video then we came to an agreement and i bought it been looking for an aluminum trailer with a nice escape door a nice ramp on it a clean finished inside um, don't want to overpay for one uh, if you feel like the offer i'd made originally was a little bit lower and their asking price was a little bit high you know we kind of you know are in the middle ground area of where we need to meet over a couple thousand bucks and for me i'm not pressed for a trailer but it would be nice for my business and be nice for my personal cars so we're gonna go and see if we can come to an agreement and if we do i bought a new trailer there it is looks good nice little sidestep All right, you know how I do it. Done deal. You see what I'm saying? The NATO racing, they're, uh, they're big on the local Mexico street racing. But got the trailer all hooked up. Super excited. Um, we just took the door down. I'll show you guys a little bit more of the trailer when I get it back home. But it uh, matches the truck really well. And now it's time to show you guys the trailer. Got it all you know, put up on a uh, cinder block. On my old trailers, I had an electric jack, which I'm kind of reconsidering if I should get that or not. This trailer, uh, if you guys couldn't tell, is an all aluminum trailer. So the steel, like aluminum frame versus steel frame trailer. So it's really not that heavy to jack up and down. Um, and it's nice because these don't fail like the electric ones do. The electric ones will fail and you're not able to, you know, lift the trailer up. You need a manual, um, you know, jack. Um, like they give you like a wheel, a wheel, um, the stuff, they, the the four way stuff they put in your cars to like uh, unscrew a wheel, they give you one of those for that, just so just in case it fails, if it's electric, that you can still get the car up. But all aluminum, it doesn't have any of the pins on the side, so you know a lot of the rivets. This is rivet uh, rivetless. The escape door is one of the biggest things. I'll show you guys here in a few, but I still have their sticker there. I might change, the, you know, take the sticker off and put you know my own type of sticker on it. Um, it has these really cool things too here. Um, like jacks for the back of the trailer so you don't need a hook up to the actual you know a truck or anything to get it to work has a nice little flap on top there um for loading lights and stuff like that and you can see the little rubber things that go down so when you put it, the trailer on the ground it doesn't you know hit the ground too hard and it can you know not scratch up the actual trailer this is uh you know kind of how you unhook the trailer it has a little handle here to bring it down i'll show you guys that ramp here in a second i just want to kind of show you guys the exterior of it so here's the other side, pretty basic, like a normal trailer. It's got aluminum wheels. Um, you know, it's just been serviced recently. It's got a couple small little dings on it, nothing crazy. I'm assuming some rocks hit it and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's a trailer that's gonna be used. It has, which is right here. I'll let you see if I can get that out. Well, I probably need two hands, but let me set this down really quick. It's a little step which I think it keeps locking, but I'll set my phone here, bring it out all the way. I'm not sure how far it actually comes out. I'm assuming it comes out quite a bit from what you can see over there and over here. Um, it goes in a lot. The end of it is all the way back here. So it probably comes out and clicks, which is a nice, you know, real big step to come in here. Here's the inside of the trailer. You know, decent size height, probably uh, seven foot ceilings or six and a half foot ceilings. I'm about six foot three, so. Looks like I got about, you know, that difference there. So probably seven foot ceilings. You know, the lights aren't gonna work, not hooked up, but it's LEDs on top, LEDs on the side here. Um, I believe it has, you know, electronics and all that. So I just need a generator right there. There's the hookup for 120 volt, 30 amp. Um, you know, obviously vents here. Some cabinets, which should be empty. They still got the uh, stickers on here, the little rubber. But nice, you guys had seen my RC racing trailer I had before, which was a steel trailer, pretty much identical to how this looked with the nice flooring, you know, the um, you know the hooks and all that, and the nice cabinets. But this was all aluminum. I've always wanted an aluminum trailer just because it makes it easier on the truck that's pulling it. Some more cabinetry here. I have a uh, spare steel 
wheel that I'll probably find a place to mount it just in case I need a spare. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, they might have been uh, smoking some hookah from what this looks like, tongs to a hookah. So I'll probably just toss that out, but it has these nice hooks. So the cool thing about these hooks is I'll, send, I'll put a picture up of the previous owner's Corvette ZR1. The hooks, as you see, they kind of um, are surrounded onto the actual wheel. They don't, you don't hook it up to suspension or anything like that or the frame. You were to, you know, as you see here, you hook it up to this one. It has two separate hooks, one hook for the ratcheting, one hook for on the middle, and then the other side gets down there. So it, it kind of just goes on top of the actual wheel instead of you having to struggle to find somewhere underneath like a car, like a Corvette. Over here, obviously, you probably strap it to the back frame or something in the back of the suspension which is easy perfect rings in here in the back and this is the cool one of the coolest parts about it is you know i was going to order a new one but like i said we came to a fair agreement to where i'm helping him out he's helping me out i don't have to wait for a trailer um you know spend a little bit more um for a brand new one and you know he took good care of it so this is i believe a five foot maybe four probably a four foot three and a half or four foot door that swings out past the six foot door or so. Or five, well, this is probably, yeah, probably a six foot door. So from there to there, six feet, let's call that four feet. So 10 feet of coverage to have a car and you don't need ramps for it. So let me get that down and show you that. So right here, easy door right here, real light compared to, you know, a steel trailer. So which is nice is those obviously, make it a nice gradual um, ramp to come down. And then I believe you just pull from here. And I believe this is aluminum too. So this would just, you get it close to the ground and just drop it. And he's loaded his C7 ZR1 on this same car, just showing you guys the orange one. And he didn't need any kind of ramps, which is really, really nice when it comes to a trailer like this. You don't wanna have to do all this and then put ramps down, but it has a nice gradual entrance. I call this trailer like the poor man's Intec. If you guys are familiar with trailers, you know like an Intec trailer is a top dog when it comes to aluminum trailers. But nice gradual entrance in here. And this is the coolest part about it. Obviously everyone knows what an escape door is when it comes to trailers. A lot of trailers don't have this. It's kind of a, you know, rare option. I had a, a escape door on my RC racing trailer, but it was literally like half the size of this door and it was just up to that. So no car would be able to open the door just because the fender was there. So how, what's the point of the escape door? So you'd get out of the, you get out of the car, right? And the only cool thing about an escape door is to escape, but you'd still have to get out of the window. And when you try to get out of the window of the trailer, you fall because like the door was there for you to, you know, kind of get out. But I'd prefer to like lean against something like the side of the trailer to get out. With that, when you had the door open, it was almost like you had to crawl out of the car, up and out and down out of the trailer. But this is the coolest part. And obviously all the you know, rubber flooring, a little bit of scuffing here, nothing, nothing to worry about though. But this is time for me to open the escape door here, which I already um, unlocked it, but it's cool. It just has these normal, you know, locks. So let me open this up, you know, then you just press it back in. But we're gonna unlock it. It has shocks on it already. So I already had it unlocked just now. So the door comes and swings up, you know, on its obviously shocks. And, you know, usually you'd pull this back down and in, but it has a little step there because it has a removable fender. So what you do is you just click this off, pull that out of the little lock. Same thing for this side. You would click this just like that. And then this is light too, so I could pick it up with probably one arm. And then obviously you wouldn't put it in the trailer, you take it out, like lay it on the side or something. But when you have a car in here, you know, granted this, you know, whatever this is, two inches of tire, you're gonna be able to get almost every single car door fully swung out um, or enough to where you can get it swung out, you can get right out of the car. You're not gonna have any tr like problems with having to climb out of it or anything and then you know, you want to climb back in the car, you step up and in, and that's it. The cool thing is you can take this off when you're loading it. So you can really get, you know, as close as you want. So when you're in the car, you just got to really stay like, you know, here on over. And 
that part is cool because they, you know, welded it and cut it into a shape where it's rounded and you're not really going to hit anything. It's real tight. So it's really nice. And you can see here, you know, the big, big opening, how you swing a door open. So like I said, I've been looking for one of these and this is the one I ended up going with. Like I said, we've been in negotiations for a little bit and we finally came to an agreement, you know, fair price for the both of us. And I'm gonna enjoy the trailer and, you know, try to enjoy the race season. Like I was telling you guys, when I bought my new GT500 and I have my ZR1 coming home soon, I wanna go to more events and stuff to have more fun and, you know, compete a little bit. The whole scene here in Michigan isn't what it used to be. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or whatnot. And a lot of these younger people are just doing these weird TikTok stuff. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not too big into it. So the, when I go out and then see people like do those, you know, for instance, like the guy who does hey, what do you do for a living? Which I actually enjoyed those videos, but there's everybody trying to replicate more videos. And you're out and there's just a bunch of TikTokers doing TikTok things, making videos. It's not like you can go out and you talk like to an enthusiast like you used to. So I'm gonna try to go to more events that actually are more dedicated to racing and to modifying your car. So streetcar takeover events, um, any kind of specific modern muscle events. And uh, I might be making a video here soon on another event I'm gonna be taking a car to, but this is the trailer. That's pretty much it. The same way this all comes down, you just gotta pick it up and lay it back down. So bring it here, you know, and get it close enough here and just, just like that. Like I said, the door is pretty light. So you just bring it up and the uh, shocks and kind of all that does its job. I'm gonna get it close enough to where I can get this back open, you know, bring it close enough, lock it in, just like that, nice and tight. And then same thing for this fender, it's really easy to go back on. Just gotta bring it close enough to it, you know, just like that, might have got it first try. Let's see, nope. Right there, locked in one side, and other side's locked in right there. So that's pretty much it. Um, you know, from what I know is that this pressurizes it to have it pretty firm, just like that. You know, you push against it, and that's kind of where it stays. No access to get inside, and um, that's it. Got to bring the door down the same way. Usually, I think you use that strap, but it's so light that I can literally just push it down with my arms. So I'm going to get it close. Lock that in. Lock that in and then just lock it up and it's really just good to go. Here at the shop, I'm pulling up. I really want to see how easy it is to get this, um, to get my Mustang loaded in the trailer. Now that I have the escape door, but I want to see how Deer's reaction too. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah. It has a full escape door and you don't need ramps or anything. The ramp is like plenty enough to get the car in without having to put yeah, extra yeah, ramps. Perfect. You can swing the door fully open. Cabinets, the cabinets all, I mean, you saw my other trailer, right? Yeah. This the cabinets. One. This one's, I mean, that not even, not the one I just had, the one before that, the oh, RC oh, racing oh. trailer. That one didn't, that one had cabinets and everything too, but this is all aluminum and it has the full escape door. So like, I can just hop That's right really out. Easy to get in and out.
I really just wanted to see how this would fit in here. And these ramps were way closer, as you've seen, than I thought. Car fits in here real nice, though. We'll pull it out in a second. But, like, you can see the room here is decent. It almost feels like this trailer is, like, skinnier than the other trailers I've had. Um, as far as, like, the interior narrowness. Um, but I think I'm just going to have to ride this line of where the escape fender is when I pull the car in next. But pulling it out... Um, his C701, I'm assuming it fit in here so well is because the front end is really close to the front of the tire. So it doesn't really need that much room before the tire hits the front and it can start coming up. Um, the Mustang seems a little bit different in that case. And I figured out the side step has like a little latch onto it at this level. So it's nice little step in. And I haven't got my ratchet straps yet, so I can't show you guys how easy it is to strap it in. But when those come in, obviously I'll start using them. The Mustang's front end seems a bit long, um, if I had to guess maybe a foot and a half from the front of the tire or so. If you can see, that's the front end, and then the tire doesn't start till about back here. You know, if I had to guess, I know, probably best to do it on this side. If I had to guess, about a foot and a half um, from front of, the front of the tire to front of the splitter here, and that's kind of why it got so close. And it didn't rub at all, so which is nice. It's got really close, so I know it at least works and fits in here without, without that. And plus, the parking lot's kind of off balance anyway, so uh, I'm pretty happy with how the trailer fits my car and it's gonna fit my c601 pretty well too um granted it hopefully has a smaller front end than the mustang and yeah if you had enjoyed this video please give it a like subscribe um think about following my business page sinister auto sales i buy and sell performance cars you guys have seen my shop time and time again um always loaded with performance cars if you guys are looking for your newest mustang or corvette you're looking to sell any of your performance cars i really buy anything top line tier performance cars for any brand i'll buy them uh, hit me up it's 248-365-0306 sinister auto sales this is my instagram my facebook and sinistershop.co is our website besides that follow my personal instagram if you guys want to see more about my trailer my cars my lifestyle stuff it's sinister lifestyle if you guys want any ceramic coatings i hate to plug this too much but hadir did a crazy job on the ceramic coating on my new 2022 shelby gt500 it's reflect detailing. I'll leave his number down below too. Besides that, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching.